So academic medicine is very different than private practice, so there's been a lot of learning in the process. So varying from learning how to deliver curriculum in the modern way. We actually don't give the traditional lectures that a lot of it is Socratic questioning, so we're actually asking um, the students based on the reading that they've prepared, you know, what do they think about something rather than just telling them what to think about it. Biggest emphasis is, is learning how to research and how to find your answers. And I think that's what's unique about UIW is the, the PBO, the problem-based learning. So it's not just, hey, you get lectured at and then you have to regurgitate the information. It's, no, like we introduce a topic and we facilitate the learning, but we want you to do the hard work. You know, you do the legwork and, and collaborate with your peers and your, your faculty to, to reach the answers. And so that's true learning, I feel like. And, and that's why I feel like I've learned so much more in one semester here at UIW than the rest of my time in, in education. You know, as we're trying to teach our students, you know, our lecture halls have recently been revamped and so really, you know, they're able to see and learn in a lot of different ways in the classroom setting and then once they do get into the preclinical labs where they're learning how to do eye exams and how to perform certain skills, um, we are using Save the Art equipment as well. We're trying to prepare our students for the real world and, you know, the real world has the latest and greatest technologies. And so being able to teach our students how to use those pieces of equipment, again, is invaluable for their education so that when they do graduate and they do leave us, that they're not going to be surprised by anything out in, in any kind of practice they may encounter. The university um, graciously uh, supplies our research budget such that we can conduct the summer fellowship training program, which is an opportunity for a student who has gone through their first year. We started this in 2011. It grew from five students to up to 20 students, about a third of the class, and they pair with faculty to do research projects. We have journal club, we, have, we participate in UIW Research Week, and most importantly, we present at professional meetings. We submit abstracts that are peer-reviewed, and we publish papers as well. The connections I have made here, I feel like the networking opportunities the education and the people, I'm confident that when I go out that I'll be a good clinician because I'm, I feel like I'm already doing that in my clinical rotations and the preceptors are always encouraging. So they're there to help you, but after a point, they like you to take lead and you know, finish your exams and know what you're doing and that gives me confidence that I can do it when I get out of here. Today's method of teaching young medical students is integration at an earlier time and clinical applications that are seen from day one. So after about their second year, you feel like you're talking to young doctors already at this stage because they, they speak the lingo, they know case presentations, they know the applications of science to the clinical side of things. And that really, I think, prepares physicians for today and for the future. There's only about 150 to 170 students per class, but we have a full range of faculty. And what's nice about ours is our schedule set up so we do class 8 to 12 for both classes. And then our afternoons are completely free and they're self-directed time. So that's a time where faculty are in their offices and they're, it's basically an open door. You can schedule time to meet with them or you can just walk up and they're always there and they're always ready to talk to you. So they might teach um, any class, any random lecture, but they have one subject that they are an expert in their field. So if you have a question on immunology, we have an immunologist. If you have a question about microbiology, we have a microbiologist. So you're able to really get your questions tailored down to the specific answers you're looking for. Our curriculum the way it works, we have to go and research a lot of the material that we need to know for classes and our cases every week. Uh, and so instead of having to come to the library and look it up, uh, we have access
access online to hundreds of different books and videos, which is really helpful. Uh, and then also just the fact that we have access to the anatomy lab, um, and then also sometimes the OMT lab as well, that's really helpful. I think it is vital to work together because as a physician, that's where you're going to be doing. You're going to be working with a team of all you know different backgrounds, and so being able to uh, practice and learn and communicate with a variety uh, of people is really important. And for me at least, I work in groups, and I work best in groups, and so for me it, it's really really important for me to be able to communicate my thoughts, kind of bounce around ideas uh, when I'm learning material, so that's helpful. Uh, the reason that I like pharmacy a lot uh, versus anything else is that it, uh, it really allows you to be an expert in just the medications. So, I mean, obviously we work a lot uh, with our physicians and our nurses about medications uh, in the pharmacy world, uh, but we're the only ones that we spend our entire degree here doing that. So we're really the ones that people turn to to be experts on something, and I think that that's a really rewarding thing to know that you are the person that people are gonna turn to if they have specific questions about those kinds of things. Um, over the past few years, we've decided that we really want to make increased efforts to help our students become more prepared for residency. And by doing that, we want to build some of their career skills. So we have a workforce that's committed to increasing career readiness for all students, no matter what part of pharmacy they want to go into. But specifically for residency, where application and interviews are super competitive, we've created workshops that revolve around same things that are for every career, like CV development or resume development. But we've also created an elective specifically made to prepare students for residency in terms of the application process, but also what to look for in a program that would best suit them and so they know which residency programs to apply to. Even though we are a teaching institution, we also have opportunities for, research, for students to do research. I have had students from the undergrad program to get their feet wet in the lab, as well as pharmacy students coming through the summer and get an opportunity to understand what basic science research is like, as well as to have the opportunity to go to scientific meetings and present their work. Really from the moment I started here, I felt that the faculty here were, were gonna help me out a lot. Um, when you first get here, you're assigned a faculty mentor and they're with you your whole career through pharmacy school. Um, so they're a great person to come to if you're struggling in any class. And I think that with the, the wide variety of faculty specialties that we have, they, they truly are making sure that we have every experience possible to succeed in the real world. So the way that our School of Physical Therapy is set up, there are so many different learning spaces available to the student. And we have four learning labs, a foundational science lab, a musculoskeletal lab, a neuromuscular lab, and a cardiopulmonary lab. Um, we also have a gait analysis lab for research and data collection. Um, so there's a lot of really great learning spaces here on campus and we even have our own School of Physical Therapy community clinic. Um, here the students are caring for individuals in our community um, with the supervision of our PT faculty and, and that's part of our curriculum so they spend um, a certain number of hours in the semester in our, in our clinic. I think the one thing that really stands out for our program is the sense of community and the sense of working together. Uh, a lot of the other programs are very cutthroat, and I've heard horror stories from friends who are in other programs that um, it's a competition. And here, we understand that um, we're all going to the same place eventually. We're all going to be working together someday, um, even from people outside of the school. You never know who you're going to work with. It sets you up for being able to work well with others. Well, I think UIW did a really great job of teaching me to remember that at the end of the day, it's about caring for the patient. Yes, the knowledge is important. Yes, all the skills we learn are important. But if the patient doesn't feel cared for and you don't get to know them and build the rapport, then it's going to be really hard to work as a physical therapist. So I think that's one of the biggest strengths of this program is making us realize that that's always going to be the most important thing when you're working with the patients. So our direct admit program is an option for first-time freshman students. And there's certain requirements. So as part of the direct admit program, there is um, requirements of maintaining, I believe it's a 3.7 
um, cumulative GPA or a 3.7 math science GPA. There's also a minimum requirement for ACT or SAT scores. There's, there's also a um, involvement in community service and volunteer work. Uh, we do require an interview with the School of Physical Therapy faculty and so um, acceptance into the direct admit program is contingent upon a successful interview with the faculty as well as meeting those specific high school criteria. Um, and then if they are admitted into the program, um, there's other criteria that they need to maintain while being at UYW. So uh, being in direct admit, we do like a semester, each semester we have a meeting that we go to and so we all get together and we all talk about like how are you doing, what should we improve on, just doing that, meeting with the Dean of the Office of Student Affairs, like you have that one-on-one -on -one connection. The students and faculty, they're always so open to communicating with you to share the opportunities, whether it be service or job opportunities. It's great just to have those people there supporting you throughout your whole experience. I think it's manageable for many students as long as you know how to balance your time and know how to study. It's not impossible for someone who doesn't know those things just yet, it just takes time. They just need to do some trial and error and make sure that they know how to keep their grades up. But because direct admin students take about 16, 17 hours, depending on how many credits you come in with in high school. So it's, it's rigorous, but it's worth it. I know some students want to come in and do just one thing, but we want them to, be, to graduate as a, as a generalist, but more than anything, a mindful professional. So the, the emphasis that we put on compassion, caring, uh, professional behavior, showing empathy, I think is, is paramount. I think if you stop and think about what do you want in a healthcare professional, uh, or what's a good experience that you've had uh, with a healthcare professional with a poor experience. And uh, we do a lot to have those uh, learning moments, I think, for students. So we don't allow any of those to go by. Uh, professionals are not made in a day. It takes time and it takes coaching and mentoring and, and we treat everything as a teachable moment.